How's it going, my friends? It's Anakis. Today I'm doing a quick review of Star Wars Black Series Shore Trooper from uh, Andor. Uh, this is just a repaint of the Shore Trooper, so it's just going to be... It's just a quick comparing the two and pointing out the differences between the two figures. So let's go ahead and get on to it and get it over with so we don't have to suffer. Unless you really like watching this, whatever I'm doing here. So let's get on to it. Here's a short trooper out of a box. And let's say there is a more distinct differences between this short trooper and the pre one of the previous ones. Uh, I'm going to bring in the other short trooper and see the under the armor is black on this one. On this one, it's more of a tan. These pouches on the original are slanted, or these are up and down. Definite inside colors. A lot of the colors are just different. You know, the legs. How much are the same? Shoulder pauldrons are different. The white strip across the front of the armor. Backpack has got some more some black coloring in there. Of course, the belt is colored on this one. It's missing that on this one. And the back of the head is also got a little bit of black shade uh, not shading but details on there well, the newer one did not so you suck Pew. oh but it just definitely shows the differences between a standard short trooper and the short troopers that were on and or even their gun is different see his gun molded in this Beige. Yeah, it's molded in the beige, this beige plastic with a handle, a clip, and this piece right here, all painted black. And he's got a holster, whereas the other short trooper did not. I just unpeg this. It's not in there, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put the gun off to the side. Articulation-wise, it's all the same. I can go 360. You can look down. You can look up. No butterfly joint, but you can go 360. Go up like that. Nice T pose. Single jointed elbows, unfortunately. Hands do rotate back and forth, up and down. That one, that one's back and forth. Rocker, no way swivel. Like you can go up that far, can't really go back. Does have a waist swivel, or not waist swivel, but upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees, which I don't understand why they couldn't even do the double jointed elbows. But reusing a lot of the parts from the previous short trooper. No boot cut. But feet are going all over the place. So there's definitely a distinct difference between the two versions of the short troopers. And
Well, let's see, it's not a bad thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and give my final thoughts. Oh, the short. Well, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, the short trooper from Andor. Uh. Can see that they're going on clearance everywhere. I guess it would be easy to troop build them. And I got mine for $18, so. There's like two more at the Target by my work. So if they go cheaper than that, I'd probably buy another one just for the hell of it. But I'd say if it's the full price, probably you could just wait until you find him on clearance. I know he's been out for a while, so that's why this is gonna be a short video. Even Nate, not bad. It's a true builder. And that's the ones I like the most, so Anyway, if you, I'll put the type of the other short trooper review in the description down below. I'll post some pictures of him in my Instagram channel, Ionicus Toy Reviews. Uh, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And just remember to keep in the toy aisles. And I'll see you guys next time. I really got to clean up this background. It's, it's a freaking mess. Later.